The anticipation for AMD's RDNA 4 graphics cards, also known as the Radeon RX 8000 series, is growing as we inch closer to their expected release later this year. While AMD has remained tight-lipped about the specifics, leaks and rumors provide a tantalizing glimpse into what we can expect. Will these new GPUs give NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 50 series a run for its money? Or is AMD targeting a different market this time around? Let's dive into the latest leaks and see what the RDNA 4 has in store for us. AMD seems to be shifting gears with the RDNA 4 series, focusing more on the mid-range market rather than competing directly with NVIDIA's high-end GPUs. The new GPUs will reportedly feature Navi 48 and Navi 44 chips, designed using TSMC's N4P process. This process promises better efficiency and performance compared to previous generations. The architecture might also bring improvements in ray tracing and AI performance, areas where AMD has historically lagged behind NVIDIA. The most interesting design aspect is the monolithic die approach for Navi 48 and Navi 44, signaling a move away from the MCM, multi-chip module, designs seen in previous high-end models. This could mean a more streamlined production process and potentially better yields, translating to more competitive pricing. Additionally, rumors suggest that AMD might introduce a redesigned ray tracing architecture in RDNA 4, which could close the gap with NVIDIA's superior ray tracing performance. When it comes to specifications, RDNA 4 is shaping up to be quite intriguing. The flagship Navi 48, expected to be the heart of the RX 8800 XT, will feature a 256-bit memory bus with GDDR6 memory clocked at 20 GBPs, although some rumors suggest it might use 18 GBPs modules. The GPU could reach clock speeds of 3 GHz to 3.3 GHz on overclocked models, a significant jump from the RX 7900 XTX's 2.3 GHz. This increase in clock speed indicates a major performance boost, even if the overall architecture remains similar. Navi 44, likely to power the RX 8700 XT, will come with a 128-bit memory bus and a smaller die, potentially making it more efficient and cost-effective. Both GPUs are expected to feature improvements in ray tracing and AI processing, with Navi 48 rumored to have 32 workgroup processors, WGPs, and 64 megabytes of infinity cache, while Navi 44 will have 16 WGPs and 32 megabytes of infinity cache. However, AMD's decision to stick with GDDR6 rather than GDDR7, which NVIDIA's next general GPUs might use, could be a limiting factor. This choice, combined with the reported specs, suggests that AMD is firmly targeting the mid-range segment rather than trying to dethrone NVIDIA at the high end. The lack of high-end options, such as the rumored cancellation of the Navi 41 and Navi 42, further underscores AMD's strategy for this generation. The release date for RDNA 4 remains a bit of a moving target, with most leaks pointing to a launch in the second half of 2024. Some sources suggest a third quarter release, while others hinted a possible launch in the fourth quarter. There's even speculation that it might be delayed until early 2025. One source, quoted by Moore's Law is Dead, claims that driver development is going well and that RDNA 4 is ahead of where RDNA 2 was at the same point in development, suggesting a potential tease during Computex in June and a release in the third quarter. 
Pricing is another area where AMD seems poised to make a strong play. Rumors suggest that the Navi 44-based GPU could be priced under $400, while the flagship Navi 48 might come in around $500. This aggressive pricing strategy could give AMD a significant edge in the mid-range market, offering a compelling price-to-performance ratio that could attract a lot of attention from gamers and PC builders. The potential for a 30% improvement in price to performance compared to previous generations is an exciting prospect for those looking for high-value GPUs. While the RX 8800 XT, based on the Navi 48 GPU, is not expected to surpass the RX 7900 XTX in pure rasterization performance, it should offer notable improvements in ray tracing and efficiency. The RX 8800 XT is rumored to be around 10% slower than the RX 7900 XTX but close to the performance of the RX 7900 XT, which places it in direct competition with Nvidia's RTX 4080. If AMD can deliver this level of performance at a significantly lower price, it could be a game-changer in the mid-range market. The Navi 44 GPU, likely to be found in the RX 8700 XT, is expected to offer performance similar to the RX 7700 XT but at a lower price point. This could make it an attractive option for budget-conscious gamers who still want a capable GPU for 1080p and 1440p gaming. If you found this breakdown of the upcoming RDNA 4 series interesting, Stay tuned for more updates. We'll keep you informed as more leaks and official announcements come our way. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest in tech news and reviews.